Hello again everyone and welcome back to this series on how to draw iconic structures. Uh, the iconic structure today is an amazingly ornate building in Red Square, Moscow, St Basil's Cathedral. Um, it can be a bit tricky but if you try and follow uh, these instructions uh, will simplify as much as we can for you. Uh, now it consists of a main tower in the centre and I'm just trying to draw a kind of central line there uh, like that. And it's clustered around that are the various other little uh, churches with their onion dome spires. Uh, right, okay, at the top of this one has a cross. And as it comes down, you get a little ball there. And below that, you'll get a golden onion shape like that. And that sits on top of, uh, <laughs> can you can imagine sitting on top of a kind of red cup shape there like that, you know. And another bit kind of sticks out of there. And then this central uh, spire is very much a traditional shape, you know, triangular like that, okay? And uh, it's uh, got a faceted kind of base like that, and these facets will come down like that, middle one there and there, okay? And that sits on its own base and it fares, it kind of comes out slightly like that, this uh, on the way down because it's made up of layers of kind of decorative semicircles which I'll draw in later but that's the rough division of them there okay and that kind of so, 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 so that's, there's that kind of, kind of started okay um, what we're looking for now are the other domes and the onion domes on each side to the left here we have one which uh, comes in, I'll draw the left centre line again, like that, curves up like that, to a nice narrow point, and again as it goes up there's a little circle there, and another cross, and that sits on its own base, which is again is kind of faceted, Maybe another line coming in there. That's his own central facet there with other edges coming down there like that. And again, that kind of spreads out at the bottom there. And then again, spreads out very simply into these semicircular shapes I was talking about here. Okay. And then that has a base there where again you will see the a kind of faceted shape. Below that it curved back in, Oops. curved back in, like that, and then goes straight down again, but this time keeping the facets, that central facet shape there, and down to these cross lines here. Okay, right down to near the base. I'll finish that in a second. Okay, the next spire is uh, just down here, sits just in front of that from this angle anyway. And again, start from the narrow point, come out, swell it out to the base there. Come out like that. Okay. And then you get uh, the little globe at the top and then the cross. And that sits again on a faceted base like that the central facet coming down to another part like that where it starts to spread out again using these semicircular shapes like that and it sits, that sits on its own base which comes down Again, using these facets, like that, down to something almost parallel with that base there. Okay, it carries on down, but I'll, uh, I'll finish that in a second. Our next onion dome, uh, to the right of that, slightly lower. There's an outer part coming out, swelling out to the bottom there. Yep, to its own little globe and the other cross. 
Um, this one, not so fast it is, it's more, it's more or less like a round shape in this one coming down and there's someone base there but again swelling out to take in those semicircular shapes down to its own base and that carries on down below that okay um, now I've just missed one out actually there's one right in here uh, right I'll rub that wee section out and I'll draw the uh, other dome in here Okay, I've rubbed this area out here because the dome that I missed comes in about here. Okay, like that. Again, this one little globe. Like that. Alright, and this sits on its own base, a couple of lines here, and Again, that's circular, this one, but again, this one flares out. Uh, this, by the way, should finish a bit there. That's right, and that comes behind, this one comes behind it. Now, this flares out into those semicircular shapes again. You get three layers of those. And uh, let's see now. You have one there, one there, one there. So, in fact, you get these layers coming in like that when you cross each other. Okay, and um, let's see what we've got next. We've got another one coming in in here. Okay, so there's the point of it there. And again, that kind of swells out down to those kind of shapes there. It's own little globe and then the other Across there. Okay, this one, this one's base two is circular, so you can down like that. Uh, but like this one, it um, flares out in that kind of shape there again, with the layers of semicircular shapes coming in there like that. And we come in there, and there, and there. Uh, in front of that, there are two spires, small spires, sticking up, triangular spires. All right. This one sits on top of a kind of entranceway down here. The other one comes in behind it. And that again, that comes up with its own little globe and its cross, and that one too. Right now, we'll come down to the base of it now. So, down here we have a spire sitting on top of an entranceway which comes in here. The facade of the entrance it just appears in here, like that, and goes back, goes around the corner. Now, there's the facade to kind of pillar up either side there. And an archway going across, and a double archway for the doorway. Like that, coming down to steps which go down there, okay? And the side of the building is up there like that. Kind of these lines across. And this one here, this bar sits on another structure behind this one, which comes in something like this. With a couple of windows there. And as you carry on around, there's another structure comes in behind here with another roof and a sort of terracing, arcading, if you like, with windows coming along there. So there's that part of the base. As you come along here, um, let's see, we can carry on th this one coming down here. By the way, in these facets, you also have triangular patterns coming up like that and here too the sketch is in quickly just now uh, as we come down on this structure here we find that as it gets to this point uh, we have a kind of arcading occurring coming along behind here I'll start with this bit here 
the arcade appears just coming behind this spire here like that and its roof appears coming in there the slope like that so then they have the first part of the arcade with its semicircular top card windows there and then a kind of balustrade coming along there stops there okay and below that you have another entrance way here which has again this curved top archway there line coming across there the next part of the arcade comes in just below this structure here and it comes in and kind of goes across like that slightly so you get that part of the roof going that way and this part going that way and then you have the arcade coming in there with the openings coming along and then of course you have the balustrade coming across there and that kind of stops there and you have another one coming below this structure it looks as if it's much the same as but they're all slightly broken up you get one coming in here with another roof there with more of these shapes another balustrade and then finally you have one kind of appearing here oops that comes in there like that below that you have a line of that division there the wall coming out coming across to this point and on these you have kind of decorative features indentations like that then lines across the bottom uh, and on this part here you have a large arched shape and inside that there's a door and a couple of kind of window shapes finishing off with just below that we have the final bit of the building coming in about there okay uh, let's see now this actually come out a bit wider come out of it there okay now let's uh, just before I uh, go to inking in I want to put the pattern shapes onto these um, these onion domes okay uh, and this one uh, the actual it's a kind of textured shape that we get so what you do is you first of all just draw the guidelines and they come in like this swirling around and now they come around to do that okay and this one here uh, it's more going around that way although again it's textured it's kind of almost like a pineapple shape um, up here we have again we have these lines going across the way but as they come down they are actually zigzag but I'm just going to put the rough lines in just now eventually you know I'll put in the actual zigzag shapes when I'm inking in but there's one just to show you and at the top the swirls come around this one like that and on this one they go the other way like that okay uh, so a bit more detailing just here and a window shape in there and below here we have another kind of uh, card window shape okay so there's a rough outline of uh, St Basil's Cathedral but I'll so just put in these very quickly for you just uh, at the top here they're more kind of slightly pointed as they come around they're more curved like that okay that goes below there and there and in between you have smaller curves appearing like that okay right I shall now get the pen and start to 
ink in. See you in a second. Okay, let's uh, ink in now. So we'll start with the cross at the top here, this simple shape like that. And below that we have the first orb. And then we move into the first onion shape, which is a, a gold one. And that, as I said, that sits on top of a, a cup shape here. <laughs> and a couple of lines going across it there, there, like that. Uh, coming down to another kind of angled shape like that. Little patterns in there. Then, go down slightly more like that, and then another line going across, and then onto the faceted sides of the spire. Interesting thing is about these uh, lines, uh, they are actually also decorated by little kind of greens or glows or balls, whatever you want to call them, all the way down here. So put those in quickly. And also On these facets here, we have triangular shapes coming in one like that. Another one like that. Right, and then we have the, the base, the faceted base coming down like that below them. With another line coming in there. Then straight lines and follow the facets down like that. And then to that first row of you know, pointed shapes that come in right across like that. And below that we have the semicircular shapes going across. The great feature of this design, these buildings, the semicircular shape appears quite a lot. And we have the other one coming in there. And then don't forget the little semicircular ones coming in like that. Another one coming in here. Like that. And then down to the next base, which comes in here. Oop, go down the side of that dome there. I'll just draw this dome in while I'm here. As I said, it's kind of textured, pineapple kind of texture, this one. Now that cross there. And um, to get the pattern and shape of the, the, uh, the pineapple, you could actually just draw wiggly lines going across like that, just to simplify it. Okay, and let's move over to this one now. The cross on the top, and this first orb, then the point, and again, textured line coming around there. Following your guideline, and use the same kind of textured shape for the lines. Just follow your guidelines around. But make them wiggly like that. Okay. And another final one in there. Right. And then that base again has got its facets. Down to the next level. Carry that down. Then it's also broaden out. And what we get here are like up here, uh, which I forgot to actually double up because they are 
like that. Okay, same down here. Like that onto the next level, which are these semicircular shapes as I was mentioning. Double them up. And in each one we have a dark circle shape like that. Okay, down to the base. Again, keeping those facets. And then curve in the way now to the next part, which is still following the facets there. Um, it's coming in there. And on these parts, you get these kind of patterns here. Like that. Okay, now we're going straight down on the other side there uh, to the next level. Put the lines of the facets in. And these triangular pattern shapes here. Like that. Okay, down to the next base there. And to the next one. To there, okay. So let's move on to this one here now. Okay, now we have this is much more circular, remember. And we have these two window shapes in here. In front of that we have the cross of the spire here, which I'll just put in just now. It's been done like that. And double up the lines here. This comes around like that. And the other one, which comes in, this cross coming in there, and it's behind it. And double lines there, like that. Okay, uh, let's go back to this part of the uh, drawing now. Uh, this part of the building again slopes out, and we have those Semicircular shapes are cut, cutting again with a line. Like that. Another line there. Like that, down to that line. And there we have lines which are coming on from here. Like that. Uh, let's move up to this. Dome now, this cross, little globe, and shape going down like that. And as I said, these lines are zigzag, but at the top you don't really notice it. What you can do is just start doing something like that, keep the curve going. I just wiggle the line slightly, but as you get further down, make it more obvious that they're zigzag. Try and repeat that zigzag pattern like that, so they all correspond. Like that, straight across. Another one here. And this one that I put in earlier. Like that. Excellent. Down to the base, which is faceted in this case. Like that. And this one has triangular shapes on it. Like that. Down to yet another area, which has your semicircular shapes on it. Like that. 
and to its own base there. Like that. And on these shapes, of course, you have, again, like that, you have the triangular pattern in there. And small rectangular shape inside here. Put them in there, okay. Down to our base here, which is kind of carrying on this line here, you see. Right, I'll move on to the next step. Uh, well, before I do that, actually, I'll just fill in some more of the details of the main tower here. And there's a kind of column going down here, which has got these uh, square shapes going across it. Like that, into a line there. And there's a kind of window shape here, pointed window shape. And below that, and you have another triangular shape coming in like that, with a uh, window shapes in there. Okay, so let's move on to the outside domes now. The cross, the circle. And that'll put this in before I put the path in on that one. And down to there. And there. And let's put these stripy patterns in now. There's always a wee bit going across the top, first of all. But these patterns will come in like that. And then these patterns, as I said, going the other way. Like that. And then we have our semicircular shapes coming in again. Right. Like that, double them up. Right, it sits on its base there, and back to this one now. And again, a couple of semicircular shapes come in there. And the edge coming down there with that kind of shape coming in there behind it. Okay, let's move down to the, the bottom part now, this arcade running along. Here's the first part of the roof coming in here. Give me that. Down to there with the window shapes coming along. And it's on a little balustrade. Which stops there at the facade of this part of the building with the spire on it. Comes down there. That's the curve going over there, the archway. And the double archway. A bit inside there. That and uh, steps going down there. Okay, and the idea of the steps there, and coming around the side of the building. And this other shape coming in there.
two little window shapes on there. And then this other building with this roof coming in there. And it's just a kind of sketchy idea of what it looks like. Okay, let's move back to the next entrance way here, now below this arcade, which is again it has a arch top. There. And uh, we'll follow around the next part of the arcade, which come in there, running along the front of that building there. The roofs go down, the roof shapes come down like that. This next part of the arcade come in there. Okay, with its uh, window shapes. And this balustrade. Okay, down to this part of the building. With kind of indented shapes, square shapes like that. Okay, and moving on again to the next part of the arcade with its roof shape coming in here. And the balustrade. And the large arched shape coming in there which has a kind of door shape and two window shapes. And then we're finishing off by having the last part of the arcading coming in here. It kind of sticks out slightly. Like that. Down to the final touch there, into a roof shape. Excellent. All right. Let's have a look to see if there are any more little details that I've missed here. Okay, I just missed uh, some little square shapes in here. And the semicircular shapes there. A couple of lines here. And one here. And uh, anything else? No, I think I've got everything. Excellent. Now obviously this is an, an amazingly coloured building. So if you check out pictures of it, you can see where the colours go. And also it'll be, it'll be dark shading in places like here, the doorways and so on. You know, but that's something you can do for yourself. Now just before I go, I'll just uh, rub out some of the pencil lines. So it's a bit clearer. Excellent. So you can see that by following the simple lines of the building, even though it looks very complicated, you know, you can uh, arrive at something fairly easily. Okay. Not too easy, but it's fairly easy if you work at it. Okay. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you join me the next time I'll draw another iconic structure for you. In the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing. <laughs>